Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the server client model of version control a little bit more in depth. Now, the server client model of version control is focused around having one centralized location for the repositories. This allows easier control over repositories as they're stored in one location. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to our whiteboard for a moment so I can kind of draw out how the flow of the server client the server client model of version control works. Let's go ahead and get to our whiteboard. Now the way the server the server client model of version control works is essentially you have your server call this our version control server. And basically from this server you have multiple people that access this one server in order to obtain obtain re the repository data and in order to commit any changes that they make to their working copy to the actual server. So here you would have have user A have user B and then you have user C here. And basically the way it works is that user A is going to connect to the server and try to pull any information. It's going to submit maybe a request to pull information from the repository. Or it's going to submit changes it's made to its working local copy to the version control. And then depending on what the user asked, if, if version control needs to send anything back, so if it asks for an update, then the version control server is going to send back the latest copy of any files stored on the repository. And this happens for both for all the users, where it's a, a two-way street between the, the version control server and the user the user's machine. So I mean this is this is basically how version control works with the server client model. It's, it's very basic. And it provides some some advantages and also some disadvantages when working with this model. Now, some of the advantages of working with the server client model is that there's tighter control over the repositories. Because the repository is stored in one location, it's a lot easier to control who has access to that location, who makes changes to that location, and it's just it's there's a lot easier or fine-tuned uh, management that you can perform. Another advantage is that there's no, lead, no need for a local backup. And the reason behind that is because whenever you commit your changes to the server, they're on the server. Now you may want to create backups of, of the code on the actual server if for some reason your, your subversion server fails on you for whatever reason. But there's no need for a user to actually store those, to store a local backup on their actual machine because the server can handle all of that itself. And another good advantage is that there's the same revision number for each user. So that because there's this one centralized location, all commits and changes are made to the same repository. And therefore, the, reversion, the, revi uh, the revision numbers can remain the same. So when I say download revision 1048, when anyone else downloads the same revision number from a particular repository, they're gonna be, I know what code they're going to have because it's consistent. Now, some of the disadvantages of working with the server client model of version control is it only works online. We're with distributed because the repository is actually stored on the local machine. You can actually go ahead and make commits and, and revert back to older files when you're working offline. But if you need to get an older version of a file with the server, the server client model of version control, and you're offline, you're not going to be able to do that because that data is stored only on the server. Another disadvantage of the server client model is administration overhead. While there is the advantage of tighter control over the repositories, with that tighter control does come more management that you need to perform on the server, especially when setting it up for the first time. This is a basic overview of the server client model of version control. And this is the actual model that we're going to be working with when we start experimenting with subversion. Now, in our next video, we're going to go over the distributed model of version control, which works a little bit different. It has its own advantages and disadvantages. And I just think it's going to be beneficial for you to know that there is more than one type of system of version control out there for you to use. Thanks.